Hello, my name is Sven Skjern from TSM, and this is my basic human guide to Elise. So I give Elise a 7 out of 10 on clearing, because she stays pretty healthy in the jungle. The only thing that could be better is her clearing speed, kind of. Other junglers like Nidalee has a really fast clear compared to Elise, but Elise stays at like full HP almost all the time, so that's why I give her a 7. And ganking is an 8 out of 10, because she's a ranged jungler. And even if you miss the cocoon, like you can always keep onto the cocoon if you have red buff, and you can get three kills like this just out to attack in range bomb, where they will try to dodge your cocoon. So as long as you don't throw the cocoon when it's like a 100% hit, then you can get three kills like this. And so look, I give her eight out of ten just because she can carry games, and you can build AP, and you can build tank. So it's very versatile champ. Depends on what the team needs, you can adapt. So when you play Elise, you typically want to go for early ganks at level 3 or level 4 because she's one of the strongest champions in the game at this point and one of the only champions kind of in the jungle which is this strong and has a CT. So it kind of relies on you to hit your cocoon and later in the game you're just like a cocoon bot kind of. So yeah, if you don't get much done early game then you will get outscaled so I would go for stuff early game. So like any other jungler, you want to punish lanes that are pushing towards you for free kills if you come from behind since you're ranged and you can stick onto the enemy top lane or enemy bot pretty easily. Or if your lane has a lot of pressure and can harass the enemy, then dives is a really important thing to do at least because of your repel. So you can tank the tower and reset the tower aggro really easily. So the role of Elise in teamfights is kind of just to finish off enemies or to change the C with your with your team. It's Elise is a lot better of a champion. You have champs like Ari or Fresh, which you can change the CC with easily. And when the game goes on, then Elise becomes more and more less good, I think. And because you only have your cocoon kind of, and if the enemy team becomes tank enough so you can't one-shot them, then you kind of have to sit back because you build the runic echoes, you're pretty squishy compared to the enemy, like tanks. So try to finish up kills and like just cocoon bot kind of. So runes on Elise, I go 2 AP quints, 1 armor quint, 9 attack speed marks, 9 HP per level seals, and 9 AP at level 1 glyphs. Okay. So I like to go the scaling health in glyphs or in uh, seals because you don't really take any damage in jungle, you use the spiders to tank, and the attack speed and AP is just makes you a really strong early game jungler. You have a lot of power. So on at least you can go a lot of different rune pages. You can, for example, go like uh, split, split pen reds, magic and armor pen, uh, and see the upper level in glyphs. It's mostly preference again. I like to have more attack speed than 4.5% in one quint. So when I play Elise, uh, I feel it's more smooth of a champ if I have a bit more attack speed. So on Elise, I like to go 12, 0, 18, and I go the natural talent over vampirism and oppressor just because you already clear pretty good and don't need to sustain and oppressor is just better than bounty hunter. And I go the swiftness over legendary guardian because you're typically not as tanky because you go runic echoes so you don't get as much value out of the armor and magic assist. So the tenacity is just better. And I go for strength of the ages because uh, if you don't have this mastery you're just 300 HP behind the enemy jungler and it's really important to get those 300 HP. So in solo queue you can typically go like 12, 18, 0 and go for the Thunder Lords because uh, it's not as important to have the HP in solo queue and you can be more selfish in solo queue and try to carry your team like this with more damage. But since Thunder Lords got nerfed some time ago, Precision got nerfed, then everyone just found the most optimal mastery and that's Strength of the Aegis. So on Elise I start with W because it's a better skill than Q or anything else you can get level 1. And then after that I go Q and then E. For level 3 you can get level 3 ganks if you like it because you have all your skills. And after that I max Q into W into ult into E. So the reason I wouldn't take a second point in Q at level 3 is because I like to have the flexibility of actually going for a gank at level 3 and not setting myself into 
into stone to just farm for level 4. So on Elise, I would go Tracker's Knife into Runic Echoes, into typically just a full tank build or uh, Rally's Abyssal if you're really fat, but usually just Grand Dunes and Banshee's Veil vale or Locket, stuff like this. It's pretty standard, but I go Runic Echoes over Cinderhulk on Elise because I feel like if you go the damage, then you're just a lot more impactful in the game. So you can go for the Haunting guys, Upgrade Lion Race as well, if the enemy team has a lot of tanks and a lot of HP, then it's pretty good. But if they don't, then I wouldn't usually go for this item. Thanks for watching this basic champion guide. Make sure to check out the rest of the guides over at lolflas.com.